Hey guys and gals, let's build the Sea Foresting Boat by Lego City. Set number 60377. This contains 182 bricks, and the set was provided to me by the Lego Road for early review. And this looks pretty fun on the box. And that's what it looks like on the back. And I already have everything unboxed, because if you watch the main channel, we just did that. <laughs> and included is this raft piece, too. So... In this installment here, this is just a one-time installment, we're going to be building the whole thing, and we're going to be doing a rough review, and then I'll do the final review on the main. So I'm assuming that each one of these manuals probably does a portion of the build. So we're going to start with bag one, and let's see how well the build goes. So we're going to have to put together the minifigure first. And so far, the build's good. <laughs> I haven't gotten far on it yet, but uh, the whole goal is, is to see here. Oh, we got to put the oxygen tank on. Whoops, my bad. And it's an early morning build, so, well, it's a bedside build. Means I'll be going to bed soon. And we have a hair piece here, probably for... Oh, this is just a this is just a slick back. Yeah. If that was white, he, we could make Buffy the Vampire Slayer out of that. And yes, I know who who that is. And we're gonna put the helmet on him. And I think that's what's next. If we're gonna have the tanks. You may as well just go ahead and do him right now and get him done. Let's see. Not too bad. And we're not done with him yet. Yeah, so I'm happy I got a lot of the tutorials done. I have one that I kind of want to get on, but I'm going to do a few of these first. And there's some pieces out of this set that I'd like to use for a mock or a tutorial. And if they're available on Pick-A-Brick, then I may use them for a tutorial. If not, I have to go to Plan B. And stuff like that. Oh, I've got to mention this in the uh, brick exploration, but we get ourselves a nice dark azure blue camera. Cool. I like these colorful accessories. Just like I said, it's nice to have nice clutter items in your builds. So, wonder what Janet Dan think of here of this set, and how I know their names is because they always comment. The more you comment on here, the more I remember. And of course they show right here, you have to, his wig sits right by him and then you have to do the transformation stuff. And I like this um, Stingray thing. I think that's what those are. And nice print work on the top. Now, a few of my friends have been kind of talk, ooh, talking me into getting more animal figures, so. I have a feeling people are going to buy this set strictly for the figures alone, and Lego knows that, too. Like, they know what you want. Okay, so now we're going to start with this, which I think is the little, little, the little submarine thing that you grab onto and you float in the water. It's like a jet ski, but it works underwater. I don't know. <laughs> we're going to start building this right now. And a couple things I'm looking for. Is this a good build? Is it, can it drop into a city? Do you have to do modifications to it? The last, the last couple of these, no, you didn't have to do anything. They were just pretty much built right out of the manual, and you could use them right away. I'm hoping this one is. And I'm obviously going to assume when we get to the raft, it doesn't float. Oh, there's one that goes on the other end here. Now, I'm not into this Arctic Sea stuff at all. But, you know, especially when you live in a desert, these are not bad builds. <laughs> kind of gets your mind into another area. Oh, look, we got the book that's not numbered. So what is this rated for? Four and up? I don't know it was close. It's five and up, so yeah. So I guess at that age, kids that know how to count, when I was five years old, already knew 
how to count and I, which is kind of sad. I knew how to count. I knew my phone number and my home address by the time I was five years old, and that's how it was. I knew my grandparents' phone number, and yeah, we're in different times now. Well, that just doesn't want to fit on there. This piece right here I'm looking for, and if that's available for everyone to buy, then yeah. I'll snag that booger up. Make great for water pieces like fountains and stuff. And then that's printed as well. So I didn't see any stickers in here. One of the one of these sets is going to have multiple installments, so that's pretty much what we're going to be doing. Hoping this comes out well. I need to put the camera here because I'm closer here. I have to reach further here. Right. Yeah, nothing really has gone on with me. I've just been kind of relaxing and enjoying the hot weather. Well, not, but kind of just wish I was somewhere else. I've been looking into water parks for the summertime, but still got to scrounge up a friend or two would like to do that. So the wig goes with the guy, but this is pretty much what we have remaining for bag one, and that is not too bad. Well, apparently, um, I don't know what happened. I thought this thing was recording, but it's not, so... Uh, this is the beauty about doing these raw videos, so you're going to miss a bunch, and I'm not going to take it apart because I'm tired. It was recording, and I guess it stopped or something happened. Maybe the file got corrupted. I won't know. But despite the fact that it is corrupted, basically I just built the boat, and we're on building guide number two. It was, gonna, it was bound to happen eventually, and, uh, you know, someday I need to replace my camera. So we're on step 27. <laughs> it was bound to happen, guys and gals, eventually. Um, somebody's going to say, well, Jay, why don't you just get a new camera? You know, Which kind of brings up a topic, though. Um, one of the YouTubers that I watch, one of his fans, had, and this is not a Lego YouTuber, but one of his fans liked his videos so much, they sent him a $1,200 4K camera, and I'm like, jeez, I'm not even that lucky. I mean, I have a professional-grade 4K camera, but that thing's got limitations. Like, for something like this, it'd be okay. But until this channel gets a lot of views, I ain't going to waste time filming in 4K, but I may use it for that. Because the file sizes are grotesquely big. So, for those who didn't, who missed out, we just did the raft here. If, if the files are corrupted, we just basically added all this stuff in here. This stuff is printed. Yeah, so you didn't miss a whole lot. And that's about to, that happened. So when I mark the video, it won't be a complete build. I don't know. Yeah, it was bound to happen one time. I may have to take the memory card out of this thing and reformat it when I'm done. But when you're filming almost every day, it, you just don't have the time. And this camera here, I've had it for well over 12 years, and it's filmed well over a thousand videos, you know, several thousands of hours on it, tutorials and mocks and set reviews and part outs and stuff, and, and yeah. I think I may have another memory card I can shove in there. This one has a limit of 64 gigabytes. After that, it won't work. So I may have to uh, find an older one. I got a 256 gigabyte memory card I can shove in there and try it, but I think it may be just wasting at that point. Yeah. So yeah, it was bound to happen eventually. You know, I saw that part or did the memory card monster eat it 
I mean, I have a bunch of those laying around if I'm missing one. Now, let's see here. Did the manual take it? Let me look under all the parts. Oh, here it is here. I don't know how it got in there. All right. As a matter of fact, I know I recorded the audio separately, but it would be kind of pointless. Well, like I said, we'll find out eventually. So now I got to take a look at the camera every so often. Because this camera here doesn't even have a red light on it. My professional job he does. You know, I forgot to put the motors on the back of the boat. Yeah, that's where they're supposed to go. Like I said, you didn't miss a whole lot. Just the commentary. But anyways, I was mentioning about the campground and a bunch of other things that I've been working on and you know, I kind of, I, I, now I'm missing doing the custom stuff. Okay, be careful not to bend this. Bend it right here at this joint. The reason why is you could snap this little shaft here right off. I've never done it, but I'm just do that. So just, you're going to have to manually move it, don't, you know. So everything is printed in here. It's got nice print work. I'm not dissatisfied with it. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Matter of fact, it looks like this needs to be shoved in a bit more. Well, the manual didn't even show us. Well, that's how it's supposed to be. Well, that's kind of sloppy. Oh my god. Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of a perfectionist here. And we got our little floodlights here. So when I go in and do the filming, and if I am missing a part of the recording, yeah, well, that just fell off, so be careful with that. But I did get a question. Jay, do you ever get tired of putting together sets? Yeah, it gets... Uh, if you're doing one a week, it's not too bad, but when you're doing, like, two or three reviews a day, it's uh, not really fun. Um, that said, it shows what you got here. Now we just got to do a couple more items. But that's what we have remaining for bag two. All right, making sure we're recording this time. And yes, it did show the file on the thing, but when I clicked it, it was corrupted. So sadly, that was how it was, but I saved it. Part one was there. And, well, that just happens sometimes. <laughs> and if it does that again and I'm having issues, then you know, I'm glad I have tutorials filmed. I've been looking at getting some smaller cameras. The, the professional camera that I have has got limitations. The camera I'm using right now is only this long. It's this deep. My professional camcorder is about 16 inches deep. It's full 4K. This one I can get up to about 4 inches away, 3 or 4 inches away from a brick. And it's still sharp. The professional I have to be 3.5 feet away. And, yeah, I've... I think I went a little overkill on that one, but I, I, I'm going to eventually get a uh, a consumer-grade camcorder. Professional grade's fine, but it's not a what it's not what it's cracked up to be. Well, they got the feisty look on her, huh? So that was my biggest nightmare if that ever happened was the recording gets all messed up. And the thing is, guys and gals, I stop after each bag. Stopping after maybe five or ten minutes, there'd be so many pieces I'd have to splice. Doing these at that point would be kind of pointless. So, yeah. But I, I need to set up the 4K job and try it one day. Try it on a short one or something. And then... Kind 
to see. But the guy who got this 4K camera, his camera he was using was was newer than mine. <laughs> you know, I do all this stuff on a budget. This is not, I'm not, you know. The reason why I got a full 4K deal is because I know somebody who works in media and hooked me up with the deal. And we get two turtles. You get the big turtle and you get the baby turtle. Okay. So I have a feeling people are going to be scarfing this setup strictly for this. So that right there. That's part of the build. And it shows that you can switch these things around and she has blue hair to match her outfit. Wow. When I do the review, I'm, I'm going to show it, but I'm not going to focus on it. There was somebody that did one of these type of sets and just spent 15 minutes on the minifigures alone, and I just thought, <laughs> I clicked off and watched this. I watched a movie instead. I'm not watching somebody talk about minifigures. All right. We get some of these little treasure coins that are printed with a little crown on them. So... I like those. I'm hoping to get more of those. Maybe I'll have to order a few of those eventually. And I don't care if it's crooked. We already have a botched up build anyways. Sometimes these parts just don't like going down. And this goes right there. So I'm assuming there's another piece that goes on the other side. Well, if I knew this, I'd have just built two of them. Yeah, I think I'm going to do is breeze through the review real quick after this. And then go night-night, and then I'll have to do work the next day. But What is this, a telephone receiver? Yeah, in fact, it almost reaches... Okay, this is not exactly the same, but yeah, I like these. I think it's supposed to be like some kind of a jellyfish or something. I don't know, or some kind of sea plant or sea creature. And this one's got a starfish on the top. You know, some dudes will throw away these things as they relate these to friends. Don't throw them away. You can put them on your beach, and they're great for accessories. Okay. But really, all these re these builds are for is my notes. And so far, the build is slow. And I would say the build experience is going to be average on this one, just because it's it's meant for little kitties, but it's also just, you know, one or two pieces at a time. I, you know, I'm kind of getting I'm tired of it already. It's an interesting build. It's peaceful to put this together, but it's it's a bit on the slow end. Wait, hold on. It goes there. Yeah, I, I forgot to put this piece in first, but it's on the same step. And then this right here. So they, they use this. This is actually like a mop piece, but they use it for a little plant. So that's pretty clever right there. That's really cool. I got your little Mr. We got the Krabby Patties there, Mr. Krabs. Put him there. And if you're expecting a really big set, don't worry. <laughs> we're going to have plenty of those pretty soon. I mean, we're going to have some big sets to build. One of them I may do next after this one, and it's going to be a multi-part. A, a multi so if you're interested in multiple parts, there you go. Let 
What? Did they show the fish going upside down? Uh, it's hard to say. Maybe it's not. Uh, it's hard to tell. I think that goes in here. I got one of these plain green ones that go here. These are always cool. I have a whole bin full of these, but I never use them for anything because I'm not really into building underwater stuff. Best thing is to look at the next step and figure out which way the fish is going to face. There we go. Yeah, but it's a pretty colorful set, so if you're looking for something with colors, there you go. And then the treasure chest, we're going to throw the three coins in there. But it comes with an extra coin. They always give you extra, so I'm going to drop that in there. This little mug goes in here. And then, maybe that's not meant to close up. There we go. So right there. Sits right on there. Cool. And this looks like this just, oh, it just attaches here. I like that when everything's fixed, you don't have anything just straying off, floating around. So it just sits right there. Got to put this over here. And then we have the extra wig here. And that is what's remaining for bag three. And we are still recording too. Okay. Here, I don't know. I'm going to have to check that card out. And that's it. Can't show you the rest of the manual because of the stuff that I can't show, but. So far, so good. And this is bag three. And we got bag two, which is the corrupted file version. And then bag one was the other stuff. So let's drag it all over here. We're going to kind of tinker with it. I don't care about the wigs. Keep the camera. So the boat is obviously playable. Got a place to put your accessories in there. And this little crane here to hoist up something. So you could probably use it to attach to some of these accessories and hoist things up. And the turtles and the stingray are there just to admire so they can take the camera. Matter of fact, I could just stick the camera in her hand and just have her document some stuff, huh? So put her there. And this thing here is meant for, well, I thought it was something that they can grab. So this is just like a little submarine thing. So you could probably put this here on the crane. To do that. So, um, don't worry, in the final review we'll do a, a better shot. Got the hammerhead shark and all this stuff. So you get three mini figures. You get a couple of animal figures. I mean, the fish are kind of... I really don't count those, but these I do. I've seen these in different colors on pick bricks I may order a few of these. And, yeah, so you get four animal figures. If you count the fish and stuff, you get more. And, yeah, I'd say it's a playable set. You know, not too bad. You get three minifigures. So this is more of an accessory set than anything else. It's meant to probably accompany something bigger. So I'm going to jump right on into the review here, just for my notes and your entertainment. Let's start with... The build experience, it was average. The manual seemed like it was slow. Doing one or two pieces at a time was getting kind of kind of boring. But, you know, that's why I do these reviews, to let you know. But for a younger build, it's probably a, a really good idea. And for the build quality, uh-oh, I'm getting tired. But the build quality, yeah, 
I had a, this thing come apart, but other than that, nothing really bad. So maybe this right here may snap and break, so be careful. Break is literally damaging your parts, and this thing here, other than that, it seems pretty sound. So I'd say the build quality is average on this. Could this be dropped in a city? Well, this you could. Or if you got the sea creatures, I'm sure you could do something with them. And as for this, if you have an underwater thing, possibly. But if you don't do underwater stuff, this will just probably be a part out thing or something. Mini figures will obviously come in handy for something. So if you've got a, a sea theme or an Arctic theme, there you go. So in addition to the wigs, this is pretty much a, an accessory build here. Did it keep my interest at first? But when you're doing one or two pieces per step, it's it gets kind of tiresome, exhausting. So you're just going very slow. For a slow builder or a, or a beginner Lego builder, yes, this would be fine. But for somebody like myself, it was just kind of dragged out. But could you do something with mocks with this? You probably could. Probably expand on this a bit. But I think a lot of people are going to get this set for these four figures here. These are going to be the main things people are going to want. And I'll guarantee you these turtles are going to be really well sought out after. So, yeah, you get a baby one, you get an adult turtle, and that's what they look like on the bottom. That's what the little thing there in the place where you can probably stick a 3.2 3 mil stick. And this one's probably got a stud on the bottom or a tube. So, yeah, I mean, I think this is where everybody's going to go after. So this is just mostly an accessory set. So tell me what you think. For me, I'm a... I, I, when I looked at the box, I was like, yeah, I don't know. But now building it, I mean, I know, maybe I just can't get into this. But for me personally, it's it's okay. You know, if it's twenty dollars, they got to take into account the animal figures and everything's printed. Yeah, I'd say twenty five dollars at the very most. I'd be pushing it. But tell me what you think of this set. You think it's worth? A value because I don't know what the retail on this thing is but I'll have it in the description but read that and, and tell me what you think but for me personally yeah it was, it was a relaxing build but it was just kind of slow